All right, welcome to part two of my tutorial on creating a React Google reCAPTCHA component with Redux state management. In this part, we're going to finish up the state management and the component itself. So let's get started. Inside of the source directory, create a constants folder. Now in here, create a file named captchaconstants.js. We'll create two constants to represent our Redux dispatch types. Set capture success. And set capture fail. Now inside of our reducers folder, Create two files, index.js and captureReducers.js. We'll start inside captureReducers.js. First, we need to import the constants we just created. Now export an arrow function called capture reducer. It will take two parameters, state, which is equal to an empty object, and action. Inside the function body, create a switch statement. The case will be based on the action dot type. So when the action type is equal to set capture success, we want to return an object where we set capture to action payload. When the action type is set to set capture fail, we want to return an object where we set error to action.payload for future error handling. For the default case, just return state. Now go over to the index.js file in our reducers folder. Import combine reducers from Redux and import the capture reducer we just created. Now set combine reducers to the default export and pass in an object with all of our reducers. We only have one capture reducer and we'll rename it to just capture. Now we need to import this into our store index.js as the root reducer. We're done here, so head over to our actions folder and create a captchaactions.js file. First, we'll want to import our constants. Create an arrow function called setCAPTCHA. We'll be using data as a parameter but also we're using dispatch, so we need to create this double arrow function. Now inside of the function body, we create a try catch block. We'll try to dispatch an object with a type of set capture success and a payload of data. If it catches an error, we'll dispatch an object with a type of set capture fail and a payload with the error response.
We're done with our action at this point, so head back over to our My ReCAPTCHA component. Import use dispatch from React Redux and then create a dispatch constant that we set to use dispatch. Import the set captcha action we just created. and then import use effect from React. We'll create a use effect arrow function. In the dependency array, we need to pass in expired because we want to trigger a function every time expired is changed. Inside of the function body, we will dispatch the set captcha action with expired as its parameter. We also need to pass in dispatch in the use effect dependency array. We now should have app level state for our reCAPTCHA. I'll give a quick example of how you might be able to use this in a form. Inside of home screen, we need to import our component. Also import use selector from React Redux. Create a CAPTCHA constant, which we'll call useSelector, and we'll pass in an arrow function with state as the parameter. We'll point this function to state.captcha. Now to destructure from our CAPTCHA reducer. We'll rename CAPTCHA to current CAPTCHA. If there's no current CAPTCHA, we return a paragraph with loading. If it's there, we return a header, an H1, which will display the value of current CAPTCHA.expired. And now we just have to fix this one bug I found, and then we're done. Inside our main app.js component, the provider import is incorrect. Now I'll start it up and show you the finished result. So if this value is false, that means that the reCAPTCHA has been verified. It will turn to true as soon as it expires and back to false if a user verifies it again. You could easily flip the state values to make it display true when verified. This is just how I set it up.
And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.